Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. Now this video is in response to our previous video on Google Meet. If you haven't seen that one yet, I'll link it in the cards at the top. But one of those questions we got about Google Meet is, is it possible to schedule your meetings ahead of time? Now the answer is yes, it is possible. And today we're going to show you exactly how you can do that. Now let's go ahead and open up Google Meet. Now here you can see I have my Google Meet open and as you can see down below there is a meeting already scheduled for this afternoon. Now you can schedule multiple meetings ahead of time and the way you're going to do that is by really utilizing the Google or G Suite ecosystem. Now we're going to dive into our calendar and we're going to schedule our meetings. So let's open up the Google Calendar in a separate tab. Now we're going to open up a second tab and then we're going to dive into our Google Calendar. Now once our calendar is open, we can start scheduling our meetings. So let's say that I have an upcoming Google meeting with a classroom tomorrow. Well, what I can do is I can create a new event. Now, the way I'm going to do it this time is I'm just going to click on the time I want to meet. So let's say I want to meet tomorrow at 3 p.m. Now, in order for me to link a Google Meet room to this event, I'm going to have to add conferencing to it. Now that button is located at the bottom where it says location. And when you click on that, you can add your Google Meet room or Google Meet link. So let's go ahead and click on add location or conferencing. And now instead of a location, we're going to add conferencing. You can see it immediately generates a Google Meet link. You can now go ahead and invite all your guests to this meeting and they will be sent an updated notification. Now, as soon as the meeting goes live, everyone pops into that meeting room and they will join you for a meet. However, there is one thing important noting. When you schedule your meetings ahead of time, even when that meeting is taking place tomorrow, people can start joining those rooms. So it is possible for your students to jump into a room that is only going to be used next week. So make sure that you think carefully, is it really necessary to schedule this meeting ahead of time? Or can I just do it five minutes before we actually go live? So now let's go ahead and have a look at what this looks like once the meeting has been scheduled. So I'm going to invite a demo account. So let's go ahead and add a guest. We're going to add our guest to this. We're going to add a demo. There we go, and I'm going to save this. Now I'm not going to send out an invitation, so we're going to click on save, click on this event, you will see that link is right there. You can join the Hangouts Meet. Now on the main Meet page, you only see the events that are taking place today. So let's go ahead and add another event for today. There we go. We're going to add conferencing, and we're going to title this Second Event. We're going to add some guests to this as well. We're going to add a number of demo accounts. There we go. And we're going to save this. We are not sending out an invite. And then we're going to invite external guests. Yes. Now when I go to my meet, there we go. Our second event is visible on our main page. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure you scroll down into the comment section below and let us know. Are you scheduling your events ahead of time or do you do it last minute? How do you schedule your events and do you use Google Calendar as often as I do? If you would like to see some more tips and tricks on how you can use the Google Calendar, let us know in that comment section and we will make some more videos on that as well. But thank you for watching. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer and I will see you in the next one.